Have you ever marveled at a bird's nest, thinking about how it's made? Imagine creating something so intricate and cozy without using your hands. That's what birds do with just their beaks and feet. It's incredibly fascinating how these little creatures build their homes. From cozy nests to impress potential mates to sturdy ones for raising their chicks. Let's dive into the world of the 15 most unbelievable bird nests, showing off the incredible talent and creativity of our feathered friends. Number 1. Southern Masked Weaver Welcome to the world of bird architecture, where the Southern Masked Weaver takes center stage with its remarkable nest-building skills. Found in Southern Africa, this small bird is anything but ordinary when it comes to crafting its cozy abode. The Southern Masked Weaver is renowned for its intricate and elaborate nests, which are often likened to miniature hanging baskets. These nests are meticulously woven from grass and other plant materials, with each strand carefully intertwined to create a sturdy structure. What's truly impressive is that each nest is uniquely designed, reflecting the individual creativity and skill of the weaver bird. But what sets the southern masked weaver apart from other birds is its meticulous attention to detail. Each nest is meticulously woven by the male weaver bird, who spends countless hours meticulously crafting each strand of grass into a sturdy structure. The result is a tightly woven masterpiece that not only provides shelter for the bird's eggs, but also offers protection from predators and the elements. If you ever have the chance to observe a southern masked weaver in action, you'll be treated to a captivating display of craftsmanship. After all, when it comes to building the perfect home, the Southern Masked Weaver knows how to weave its magic. Number two, Edible Nest of the Swiftlet. Next, we're exploring the incredible edible nest of the Swiftlet, a marvel of avian engineering that's as tasty as it is impressive. Found in various parts of Asia, including Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand, the Swiftlet is a small, agile bird known for its remarkable ability to navigate complex cave systems and construct nests in hard-to-reach places. What makes the nests of the Swiftlet truly unique is their composition. They're made entirely from the bird's saliva. Yes, you heard that right. The Swiftlet builds its nest using strands of saliva that harden upon contact with air, creating a sturdy and resilient structure. These nests are typically attached to the walls of caves or cliffs, where they hang suspended in the darkness, out of reach of predators. But here's where things get even more fascinating. The Swiftlet's nest is not just a home, it's also a highly sought-after delicacy. In certain cultures, particularly in China and Southeast Asia, Swiftlet nests are harvested for their purported medicinal properties and are considered a symbol of wealth and status. Known as bird's nest soup, this culinary delicacy is believed to have various health benefits, including promoting longevity and enhancing skin complexion. However, harvesting swiftlet nests can be a dangerous and challenging task, often requiring climbers to scale treacherous cliffs and brave the darkness of caves to reach the prized nests. And if you ever find yourself sampling bird's nest soup, you'll be indulging in a culinary tradition that dates back centuries and continues to captivate taste buds around the world. Number three, Sociable Weaver. The Sociable Weaver, a master architect of the avian world, constructs one of the most impressive nests you'll ever encounter. These industrious birds found in the arid regions of Southern Africa build colossal communal nests that resemble small apartment complexes accommodating hundreds of individuals. Now, let's dive into the fascinating world of sociable weaver nests. Constructed from twigs, grass, and other natural materials, these nests are true marvels of engineering. They're not just ordinary bird nests. They're sprawling structures that can span several meters in length and weigh several hundred kilograms. The nests consist of numerous chambers and compartments, providing shelter and protection for the entire colony. But what's truly remarkable about sociable weaver nests is their adaptability and durability. These nests are designed to withstand extreme temperatures, from scorching heat during the day to chilly nights in the desert. 
The intricate weaving of grass and twigs helps regulate temperature and humidity inside the nest, creating a comfortable environment for the birds. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of sociable weaver nests is their social structure. As the name suggests, these birds are highly sociable and live in large colonies consisting of multiple family groups. Each family group has its own section within the nest, with interconnected chambers and tunnels providing easy access between them. Now imagine being a sociable weaver, cozying up with your neighbors in your shared apartment complex, chatting away as you go about your daily activities. It's a bustling community where cooperation and teamwork are key to survival. Number four, bald eagle's nest. Ah, the majestic bald eagle, a symbol of freedom and strength, renowned for its impressive nest building prowess. Today, we're taking a closer look at the incredible abode of this iconic bird of prey, the bald eagle's nest. Perched high atop sturdy trees or rocky cliffs, the bald eagle's nest, known as an airy, is a marvel of engineering and endurance. These massive nests can measure up to 10 feet wide and weigh as much as two tons, making them one of the largest bird nests in the world. It's like having your own spacious penthouse in the sky. Constructed primarily of sticks, branches, and other natural materials, bald eagle nests are meticulously crafted by the birds themselves. Using their powerful talons and beaks, they gather materials from their surrounding environment carefully arranging them into a sturdy platform that serves as a home for their growing family. But what truly sets bald eagle nests apart is their longevity. These birds are known for reusing the same nest year after year, adding new layers of materials to reinforce and expand their home with each breeding season. Some nests have been used for decades, growing larger and more intricate with each passing year. Talk about real estate with a view. In addition to being marvels of avian architecture, bald eagle nests also serve as important symbols of conservation success. Once on the brink of extinction due to habitat loss and persecution, bald eagles have made a remarkable recovery thanks to conservation efforts and legal protections. Today, these magnificent birds thrive in many parts of North America their nests serving as beacons of hope for wildlife conservation. Remember, when it comes to bald eagle nests, the sky's the limit, literally. Number five, African jacana. Ah, the African jacana, a bird with a nest building strategy that's as unique as its long legs. Let's take a closer look at this remarkable avian architect and its fascinating nesting habits. The African jacana is renowned for its oversized feet which allow it to walk on floating vegetation with ease. But did you know that these feet also play a crucial role in nest building? That's right. When it comes to creating a cozy home for its eggs, the African hakana doesn't mess around. Unlike other birds that build nests in trees or on the ground, the African hakana opts for a more unconventional approach. Instead of constructing a traditional nest, this resourceful bird creates a floating platform out of aquatic vegetation, including lily pads and other water plants. Talk about thinking outside the nest. Another interesting fact about the African jacana's nesting behavior is its division of labor. While the female takes the lead in nest building, it's the male who steps up to the plate when it comes to incubating the eggs and caring for the chicks. For all you young ones sharing the workload, these birds are true partners in parenthood. After all, when it comes to nest building, the African jacana knows how to stay afloat, both literally and figuratively. Number six, the bowerbird nest. Ah, the bowerbird, nature's ultimate interior decorator. When it comes to nest building, these featherid architects take creativity to a whole new level. Let's delve into the fascinating world of bowerbeard nests and discover what makes them truly incredible. First things first, bowerbirds aren't your average nest builders. Instead of constructing traditional nests in trees or on the ground, male bowerbirds create elaborate structures called bowers to attract mates. These bowers serve as both a display area and a courtship arena, where Malis show Cassie their artistic prowess to woo potential partners. Now, you might be wondering, 
What exactly does a bowler look like? Well, that's where things get interesting. Bowlers come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from simple collections of twigs and leaves to intricate constructions adorned with feathers, shells, flowers, and even shiny objects like bottle caps and pieces of glass. Talk about a bird with an eye for design. But here's the twist. While male bowerbirds are busy building and decorating their bowers, females are off inspecting their handiwork. And let me tell you, these ladies have high standards. They carefully evaluate each bower, assessing factors like size, symmetry, and the quality of decorations before making their decision. It's like the avian version of home renovation shows, only with feathers and courtship rituals. And if you think the creativity ends there, think again. Bowerbirds are known for their cunning and resourcefulness, often incorporating items scavenged from their surroundings into their bowers. From colorful flowers to shiny trinkets, these birds aren't afraid to think outside the nest when it comes to decorating. Number seven, the oven bird, nest. Now that we've explored the extravagant world of bowerbird nests, let's shift our focus to a nest that's a bit more down to earth, the humble abode of the oven beard. Don't let its unassuming name fool you. The oven beard's nest is a marvel of a Vienne engineering that's as practical as it is impressive. Unlike the elaborate bowers of bower beards, oven bird nests are simple yet incredibly efficient structures. These ground nesting birds, found in forests across North and South America, construct dome-shaped nests made of grass, leaves, and other plant materials. The nest resembles a small oven, hence the bird's name. But here's where things get really interesting. The oven bird's nest isn't just a cozy home for its offspring, it's also a natural oven. That's right. This clever bird builds its nest with a small side entrance that acts like a chimney, allowing air to circulate and heat to escape. This ingenious design helps regulate the temperature inside the nest, keeping it cool on hot days and warm on chilly nights. You might be wondering, why does the oven bird need a temperature-controlled nest? Well, it all comes down to the delicate balance of incubating eggs and raising nestlings. By maintaining a stable temperature inside the nest, the oven bird ensures that its offspring have the best possible chance of survival, even in unpredictable weather conditions. But what's truly remarkable about oven bird nests is their construction technique. Instead of using adhesive materials like mud or saliva, Oven birds rely on their natural weaving skills to create a sturdy and well-insulated nest. So, the next time you're hiking through the forest and come across a small domed nest on the ground, take a moment to appreciate the ingenuity of the humble oven bird. From its simple yet effective design to its clever use of natural materials, this unassuming bird proves that sometimes less is truly more in the world of nest building. Number 8. Cactus, Phoenus, Pygmy, Owl, Nest Now let's venture into the desert to discover one of the most unique bird nests in the avian world, the nest of the Cactus ferruginus Pygmy, Owl. This small but mighty owl, native to the southwestern United States and northern Mexico, is known for its remarkable adaptation to its arid habitat, including its clever nest-building skills. Unlike many birds that build nests high in trees or hidden in shrubs, the Cactus ferruginous pygmy owl opts for a more unconventional nesting site inside a cactus. Yes, you heard that right. These tiny owls make their homes in the hollowed-out cavities of saguaro cacti, using the natural nooks and crannies of these iconic desert plants to create cozy nesting chambers. The thick, waxy skin of the saguaro cactus provides excellent insulation against the scorching desert sun, helping to keep the nest cool during the sweltering daytime temperatures. Plus, the spiky exterior of the cactus serves as a formidable barrier against predators, keeping the owl and its eggs safe from harm. What other fascinating adaptations have you observed in birds to thrive in their environments? Share your thoughts and observations in the comments below.
Number 9. Great Hornbill The Great Hornbill, known for its impressive size and distinctive cask atop its massive bill, is also celebrated for its unique nesting habits. Unlike many other birds, the Great Hornbill doesn't build traditional nests in trees. Instead, it opts for a more unconventional approach. It seals itself inside a tree cavity for the nesting period. You might be wondering, how does this work? Well, let me break it down for you. The female great hornbill selects a suitable tree with a large cavity, often in the hollow of a tall tree trunk. Once she finds the perfect spot, she seals herself inside using a combination of mud, regurgitated food, and feces. This makeshift seal effectively protects her and her eggs from predators, while also maintaining a stable environment inside the cavity. As the female incubates the eggs, the male great hornbill dutifully brings her food, passing it through a narrow slit in the seal. Talk about room service! Once the chicks hatch, the female breaks free from the cavity, and both parents work together to care for the young. But what's even more fascinating is that the female great hornbill undergoes a complete molt while sealed inside the cavity. Yep, you heard that right. She sheds all her feathers and grows a new set while confined to her makeshift nest. This ensures that she's ready to take flight as soon as she emerges from her temporary confinement. Now, you might be wondering, why go through all this trouble? Well, for the great hornbill, this unique nesting strategy offers unparalleled protection for its vulnerable offspring, ensuring their survival in the dense forests of Southeast Asia. So, next time you feel like you need some peace and quiet, just remember, at least you're not sealed inside a tree cavity like a great hornbill. Number 10. Little Grebe The Little Grebe, also known as the Dabchick, may be small in size, but its nesting habits are nothing short of remarkable. Found in wetlands and freshwater bodies across Europe, Asia, and Africa, these elusive birds construct nests that are as ingenious as they are practical. When it comes to nesting, the little grebe prefers a cozy spot amidst dense vegetation where it can conceal its nest from predators and prying eyes. Using a combination of aquatic plants, reeds, and twigs, the little grebe builds a floating platform just above the water's surface. This clever design not only provides stability, but also allows the nest to rise and fall with the water level, ensuring the safety of its precious cargo. But here's where things get really interesting. The little grebe doesn't stop at just one nest. Oh no, it's a master of deception. To throw off potential threats, this crafty bird builds multiple nests within its territory, only using one for breeding while keeping the others as decoys. Talk about taking home security to the next level. Once the nest is complete, the female little grebe lays her eggs, typically laying between four to seven eggs per clutch. Both parents take turns incubating the eggs and caring for the young, ensuring their survival in the challenging wetland environment. But why go through all this trouble? Well, for the little grebe, the risk of predation is ever-present, and having multiple nests provides a crucial advantage in protecting its offspring. Plus, it's always better to have a few decoys up your sleeve. Number 11. Flamingo Nest The flamingo nest is a marvel of nature, both striking and functional. These vibrant birds, known for their iconic pink plumage and long, slender legs, create nests that are as unique as they are beautiful. Unlike many other bird species, flamingos don't build traditional nests in trees or on the ground. Instead, they construct their nests out of mud and clay in shallow water bodies, such as lakes, lagoons, and marshes. This unconventional choice of location provides the flamingos with a safe and secure environment away from potential predators. The shape of the flamingo nest is just as intriguing as its location. These nests are typically cone-shaped mounds with a shallow depression in the center where the eggs are laid. The mound shape serves a practical purpose. It helps to protect the eggs from flooding and keeps them safe from predators that may attempt to wade into the water. But what makes the flamingo nest truly remarkable is its color. As the flamingos gather mud and clay to build their nests, 
they inadvertently mix in pigments from their diet of algae, shrimp, and other aquatic organisms. This gives the nests a distinctive pink hue, matching the vibrant color of the flamingos themselves. The flamingo nest is not just a place for laying eggs, it's also a communal gathering spot for the birds. Flamingos are social creatures, often nesting in large colonies that can number in the thousands. These colonies provide safety in numbers, with the birds working together to defend against predators and share parenting duties. When it comes time to incubate the eggs, both male and female flamingos take turns sitting on the nest. This shared responsibility helps to ensure the success of the hatchlings and strengthens the bond between mates. So the next time you see a flock of flamingos gathered around their pink-hued nests, take a moment to appreciate the ingenuity and beauty of these incredible birds. After all, when it comes to nesting, flamingos truly know how to stand out from the crowd. Number 12. European Bee Eater The European Bee Eater is a stunning bird known for its vibrant plumage and remarkable nesting habits. Found across Europe, Africa, and Asia, these colorful birds migrate long distances each year to breed and raise their young. When it comes to nesting, European bee eaters are quite creative. Instead of building traditional nests in trees or on the ground, these birds prefer to dig burrows into sandy banks or cliffs. Using their sharp bills and strong feet, they excavate tunnels that can extend several feet deep into the earth. But what sets the European bee eater's nest apart is its cozy interior design. Inside the burrow, the birds create a nesting chamber where they lay their eggs and raise their chicks. To make the chamber more comfortable, they line it with soft materials such as grass, feathers, and leaves. One of the most fascinating aspects of the European bee eater's nesting behavior is its diet. True to their name, these birds primarily feed on bees, wasps, and other flying insects. To capture their prey, they perform impressive aerial acrobatics, darting through the air with precision and speed. But what goes in must come out, and European bee eaters have a unique way of dealing with waste in their nests. Instead of allowing droppings to accumulate inside the burrow, they have a designated fecal chamber where they deposit their waste. This helps to keep the nesting chamber clean and prevents the buildup of bacteria. So the next time you see a European bee eater darting through the sky or nesting in a sandy bank, take a moment to appreciate the ingenuity of these remarkable birds. After all, when it comes to finding the perfect home, European bee eaters know how to dig deep. Number 13. Rufus Horo Nest The Rufus Horo, also known as the Rufus Hornero, is a remarkable bird native to South America, particularly Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Bolivia. What makes this bird truly fascinating is its unique nesting behavior and construction techniques. When it comes to building nests, the Rufus Horo takes architecture to a whole new level. Instead of opting for the typical tree or ground nest, these birds prefer to construct elaborate structures out of mud and clay. The result? A sturdy, oven-shaped nest that's both functional and impressive. Now, you might be wondering why they build their nests out of mud. Well, these clever birds have a good reason for their choice of building material. The mud acts as a natural insulator, helping to regulate the temperature inside the nest and protect the eggs and chicks from extreme heat or cold. But the Rufus Horo's ingenuity doesn't stop there. To ensure that their nests are sturdy and secure, they carefully mold the mud into a dome shape, with a small entrance hole on one side. This design helps to prevent predators from gaining access to the nest, while also providing ventilation and airflow. And once the nest is complete, the Rufus Horo wastes no time in putting it to good use. They lay their eggs inside the cozy interior where they are kept safe and warm until they hatch. But perhaps the most impressive aspect of the Rufus Horo's nest is its longevity. Unlike many bird nests that are used for just one breeding season, these mud-built structures can last for years, with some nests being passed down through generations of birds. So. The next time you see a Rufus Horo perched on its mud nest, take a moment to marvel at the incredible craftsmanship of these skilled builders. 
After all, when it comes to creating a cozy home, the Rufus Horo knows how to make a nest that's both functional and fabulous. Number 14. Montezuma Oropendola Nest. The Montezuma Oropendola, found in Central and South America, is a master builder when it comes to creating nests that are both functional and visually stunning. These birds belong to the Icterid family, which includes blackbirds, meadowlarks, and cowbirds, and are renowned for their elaborate hanging nests. Made from woven fibers and vines, these nests can measure up to a over three feet in length, making them one of the largest bird nests in the world. But what's even more impressive is how these nests are constructed. The Montezuma Oropendolas work together in groups, with each bird contributing materials and weaving them into the nest using their beaks and feet. It's a true team effort, with every member of the colony playing a crucial role in the nest building process. And it's not just the size and structure of the nests that are remarkable. The Montezuma Oropendolas are also known for their incredible vocalizations, which they use to communicate with each other and defend their territory. So, if you ever find yourself in the presence of a colony of Montezuma Oropendolas, you'll likely hear a cacophony of calls and songs echoing through the trees. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of these nests is their purpose. Not only do they provide a safe and secure environment for raising young, but they also serve as a status symbol for male Montezuma Oropendolas. The larger and more elaborate the nest, the more attractive it is, to potential mates. Talk about bird real estate. Number 15, Pendulin Tits Nest. The Pendulin Tit is a small, charming bird known for its exquisite nest building skills. These tiny avian architects create nests that are not only functional, but also incredibly intricate and unique. When it comes to selecting a location for their nests, Pendulin Tits are quite discerning. They prefer to build their nests in trees near water, such as willows or reeds, where they can find ample nesting materials and a steady food supply of insects and larvae. Now, let's talk about the nests themselves. Penduline tits are famous for their elaborate hanging nests, which resemble small woven baskets suspended from the branches of trees. These nests are typically constructed using a variety of materials including grasses, plant fibers, feathers, and even bits of spider silk for added strength. What's truly remarkable about Pendeline tit nests is their ingenious design. The female bird meticulously weaves these materials together, creating a snug, cup-shaped nest with a small entrance at the top. This entrance helps to protect the nest from predators while also providing easy access for the parents. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. Pendeline tits are known for their nomadic lifestyle, often moving from one nesting site to another throughout the breeding season. As a result, they build multiple nests, sometimes as many as a dozen, before settling on one to raise their young. So the next time you see a tiny bird flitting about near a body of water, take a moment to appreciate the remarkable craftsmanship behind its delicate, hanging nest. After all, when it comes to building a home, Pendeline tits certainly know how to hang in there. Thanks for watching another episode. Click the next video on your screen for more.